Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So, today's video has actually been requested by a lot of different people. I'm getting requests, people are saying, hey, why don't you do any recipe videos? So, today is actually gonna be our first one. And the first introduction is going to be a lot of people's favorite, especially when they're following like a low carb regimen. This is gonna be low carb pizza. Seriously, I know it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna taste great. I hope you guys are ready. Let's get going. First tip I want to give you, don't go to the damn store on the weekend like me. Yeah, that's a sick ride. You see that? Okay, guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, madhouse in a freaking Friday. <laughs> it was crazy. But I will say I got the total about 15 bucks for about two pizzas. So not bad. Uh, I did have one of the ingredients. I already had the almond flour. But for an alternative pizza, that is not going to send you into a carb funeral. <laughs> that is definitely not a bad price. Let's go home and get this pizza started. Okay guys, so we made it home and of course all the kids are here and I'm trying to be quiet because I don't want them to come rushing out when they hear me. So <laughs> I'm going to give you a close up of actually what you're going to need. So first, eggs, pepperoni, two things of cream cheese, now these are obviously optional. I like mushrooms and I like bell peppers. Uh, cheese is not optional. I mean, I guess it is, but who the hell doesn't like cheese, right? Come on, come on. <laughs> Almond flour and pizza sauce. Uh, you can get the off-brand of any of these. That's what I prefer to do, as you can see. These were like a dollar. This is a, on sale for two for $1.47. Uh, the cheap cheese and some things they don't offer uh, on, a, on a budget but definitely keep your eye out because sometimes it costs a little bit more. But like this, you're not gonna use all this. You're gonna have tons of it left over for the almond flour. So those are definitely the key things. Obviously, you're gonna have like uh, spices and stuff that you can add in afterwards. It sounds like maracas or something. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do, guys, or I guess the first thing, I'm going like a madman around the house right now, trying to avoid the kids, trying to get out of the way while people's making kitchen, or people's making kitchen. <laughs> People are making food. So you're going to get two cups of your cheese, put it in a mixing bowl like that, and obviously that doesn't want to work with me there. About an ounce and a half of cream cheese and you're going to put this concoction after mixing it up you should be mixing it up real quick and then you're going to put it in the microwave for 90 seconds after you got that guy out of there is you're going to I know what an amazing what an amazing whisk I found <laughs> uh, you're gonna add a half a cup of flour and your your two eggs Large eggs, small eggs, brown eggs, white eggs, I don't care. So you're going to add those two. And you're going to stir them, stir it, until you get a good consistency. You're looking for it to be semi-thick. Oh, one thing I don't want to forget, parchment paper or preferably wax paper, but all I got is parchment paper, so I'm going to hope for the best. Okay, so once you get your ingredients all mixed up, you're actually going to, uh, preferably a cookie sheet. My mom's crazy and she literally throws away all pans, silverware. Look at this. That's after the damn dishes were done. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm working with what I got. But preferably a, a flat cookie sheet would be best. And then you're just basically going to pour it out onto there. And if you can, get it to work out evenly. Hopefully you can see that. I'll pull you in a little bit closer if you can get a little bit closer. I want you guys to be able to see what's going on here. So, and you don't really have to do much. 
This is the time that you want to add your seasonings if you want to add uh, garlic or pepper or anything like that. Kind of just make it a pizza shape. All right, don't forget to uh, poke holes, if you remember, in the dough um, as it's um, cooking, as well as now, just to be able to release any of the pressure. And then I add garlic salt and pepper, but you can literally add whatever you want. Um, Obviously you want to stay away from carbs in this particular dish for sure. And that would be it. Now we're ready to go into the oven for 12 minutes at 450. Definitely really ready to go. Remember to set your timer. Break you off here and set your timer for 12 minutes. If you forget that, your pizza is gonna be dead. Might as well just throw it up against the wall and video that because I'd love to see you throw the pizza up against the wall. <laughs> okay, so while you're waiting, if you can see me, I know, like horrible bad angles everywhere. Um, go ahead and, and get your toppings. If you got bell peppers or any low carb um, vegetables, go ahead and get those ready while you're waiting. I got about 10 minutes left on mine. Um, it'll go faster than you think. So definitely get everything ready if you can. Um, Wash your vegetables, especially if you're like me and you buy them at Walmart. Because Wally World isn't always the cleanest um, vegetables. A lot of the times they're the cheapest, but that doesn't mean they're the best veggies, that's for sure. Okay, so just to speak on it real quick, not to get too crazy involved in anything, but we got like... Mm, I don't know, what do we got? Eight minutes left. So I wanted to speak on it real quick. Um, if you're new to Atkins or a low carb regimen or a keto or whatever, do yourself a favor, get down on your goal weight. Get down closer to your goal weight first before you start experimenting because a lot of the times with the ingredients and stuff, you can really get out of hand. And not that that's a bad thing, but you need to be careful and get the foundations of everything down first before you start getting out and doing something. If you're on like an induction phase where you stay in between like 18 and 22 carbs, I would recommend waiting on stuff like this just because you need to get a better feel for exactly what you're doing and what the whole low carb lifestyle actually entails before you branch out and just start to get creative. Do I want you to get creative? Of course I do, but in time, baby steps, just take it one step at a time. It's okay to go slow. Now let's check, see what the heck this pizza is doing. Because I checked a second ago and it's looking actually pretty dang good and it's starting to rise really nicely. Hopefully you guys can see that. Oh yeah, starting to look real good. What do we got, like seven, seven minutes left. Like I said, use this time to cut up your vegetables and get everything ready. I got mushrooms particularly and bell peppers for mine, but you may use something totally different, but just use that time. Try not to uh, take too much time screwing around because before you know it, it's gonna come out and you're actually gonna to need to put this back in the oven, so you need to be ready when it gets ready to be able to put your uh, pizza sauce on, add, add some more cheese, and of course, I love cheese. I freaking love cheese. Who doesn't love cheese? Does anybody not love cheese? I mean, I'm sure it's not good for you to put like five pounds of it on there, but put 4.75, that's perfectly acceptable. Totally kidding, don't do that. Also, for you guys out there, if you're actually in the kitchen cooking, use this four or five minutes left that you got left to clean up this damn mess. Trust me, you'll be married a hell of a lot longer if you actually help with the dishes and the housework. If you're a girl, well, I don't know, make your man a pizza. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. But I mean, you could make me a pizza and technically send it. Can we send each other food? How does that work? Does anybody know how that works? Put that in the comment section below. Are we able to actually send each other food without it rotting? Because I'm so curious. Some of the stuff you guys make is just boom, blowing my mind and it looks so amazing. 
Okay guys, time's up. We're gonna check it out. So let's see what the pizza has to offer. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that looks pretty damn bomb. Like, can you see that? Can you see that? Like, hold up. Let me auto focus that right now because you gotta see this right now. Like, this ain't no game. That is some bomb looking pizza right now. So, use this time. Obviously, my parchment paper is not as good as the wax paper and it kind of got a little bit burnt. Okay, so now we're out of the oven. The next step is to get your pizza sauce, put it on there. You don't have to put too much. A nice thin layer is usually going to be perfectly fine. I'm actually going to use the bottom of this guy to be able to spread it around. Hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna grab this pan like a ding dong because it's super hot. So get a nice little even layer all the way around. And then what I would recommend next would be to put some cheese, obviously. I might be a slight cheese addict. Isn't that the best thing about a low carb lifestyle? All the cheese. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up if you agree that cheese is the best part of a low carb lifestyle. Obviously the, the health benefits are the best, I think, but you have to admit that it's really nice that they don't keep the cheese from you. So put a, whatever you want for toppings. Um, these are the pepperonis, obviously. These are actually pretty huge. You may not want that many of those on there. Oh my gosh, I need a rag. I'm gonna use my shirt. <laughs> okay, so next we have some bell peppers, chopped bell peppers, and some mushrooms. Now I'm not gonna go super crazy because it's obviously not that great, uh, great huge of a pizza, but and then, of course, the low carb love is going to be cheese again. And we're going to put this back in the oven just long enough to be able to melt the cheese and everything else should be done by then. It's gonna be about three or four minutes total. We are done. Let's check out what kind of beast we got here. That looks so damn good, I just took a picture. Damn. That is, what's up? Let's go see if we can get some proper lighting up on that so y'all can see what that looks like. Let's go check it out. Let's see if we can get a better light on it. Whoa, crap, that's hot. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see that right now. But that is some bomb looking pizza. Looks good. All right, guys, kids, don't lie. This is Isaiah, my son. <laughs> don't be all scared, man. That's two, day, or two kids today I got on film. I got my other son and we're gonna try out the low carb pizza right now, so take one. I don't know about eating on film or nothing, but <clears throat> looks pretty damn good. You can see it, it looks like pizza. It ain't no actual. <laughs> How is it? You good? Yeah, it's good. It's pretty good. Dang, that was really good. I like the cheese is good too. About the crust. Try it. 
The bread is good though. That's what I'm talking about. The bread. That's the winner guys. All the way. Definitely. I need a napkin. I'm a dude. I don't need no napkin. <laughs> I got my pants. <laughs> that's awkward, I got I know. Alright guys, that's low carb pizza. He didn't even know it was low carb. He probably don't even know the difference. That's actually better than regular pizza. Does that have any meat on it? That's better. That's better than regular Besides pizza. That. Pepperoni's meat. Yeah, but that's it. <laughs> Why? I didn't, I didn't make a pizza. Remember that? You like sausage and everything. Like I didn't put nothing else on there. Man. I'm on a budget, man. Give me a break. If you guys like our video, please like, share, comment, subscribe to our channel. Have a beautiful day. Remember to spread love, not hate, and be stronger than your excuses. Let me know what you want me to make next in the description below. Peace. I'm going to warn you right now. You ain't going to be able to leave this and go do something else. My kid said he had to go ride his bike. I'm telling you right now, I got self-control. I'm not eating this whole damn thing. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I'm just gonna set it over here so it's not, so it's safe. I'm gonna keep it safe over here.